the No Fate channel, checking in. And today on this episode of Tight Wad Tuesday, we're going to be talking about Amazon subscribe and save. Is it worth it to use? We're going to go over what it is, how it works, what's the catch, how much money you actually can save, and a few ways to work the system to your advantage. If this is your first time to the channel, do me a favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. I am just a dad of two trying to be a great parent to my kids and still accomplish my own personal goals. And whether you're a parent or you have goals that you want to accomplish, you know it takes money. And oftentimes we think about making money, but also what's important is not how much you make, but how much you actually keep. And that's what Amazon Subscribe and Save is all about. <gasps> what is Amazon's Subscribe and Save? It is a feature on Amazon.com that allows you to put a list together of all the things that you typically use in a month, and then once a month, they mail them all out to you. Now, obviously, you get a massive convenience factor of having everything delivered and not having to go to the store and make countless trips and use gas and time, which is probably much more valuable than gas. But they do one better. To thank you and to keep your patronage, they add a 5% discount on everything that you buy through Subscribe and Save. On top of that, the kicker, where it really adds up to some serious change, is that once you clear five items in a month, when you add five items a month to your subscribe and save, they'll take that discount from 5% and triple it, going up to 15%. Now, one of the things um, that you can be aware of is that you don't have to have the subscription every month. You can set up a subscription so that it is every two months, three months, four months, six months, etc. Also, you have the ability every month to go in before they mail out your items and simply skip or even remove items that you feel like you don't need. So how much money does it actually save? And the truth is it can save quite a lot, especially when you get to that 15% kicker. At 5%, it doesn't sound like much, but when you think of all of the stuff that you normally buy on a regular basis and then multiply that expense by five and even 15%, it adds up quite quickly. People don't realize how many items are on Amazon's subscribe and save, and that's why we're gonna unbox just my order for this month. What kind of items can you pick up on Amazon's subscribe and save? literally thousands upon thousands of items. For many people, they just only think about maybe diapers and napkins and Lunchables to put in their kids' lunch boxes. And hey, we do that here in this household, but it's so much further than that. So many items that you wouldn't even think could be reoccurring shipments they have on Amazon subscribe and save. And you're probably gonna get a hint of what's in that when I do this unboxing. But if you wanna check it out, I'll put a link in the description of all their subscribe and save items. So let's quickly talk about where you can kind of cheat the system and what the catch is, right? What's the, what's the gotcha? So number one way to cheat the system, so to speak, and this isn't necessarily cheating, but Amazon loves to pull people in for their subscribe and save. So they always give like a better kicker on that first order. Typically when you first sign up for that subscribe and save, there's like a coupon to go on top of that five or even 15% discount. So that's really where they kind of pull you in. And that's a great way to take advantage of it. Frankly, I've gotten stuff added to my subscribe and save that I didn't need reoccurring shipments of, but they were offering such a good deal that I knew just waiting a couple extra weeks for them to ship it out was worth the extra savings. And then once I got it in, I was able to just cancel future shipments of it lickety split. So one of the ways that they do kind of get you, the gotcha, is that once you get that initial price point where you think you're getting a crazy awesome deal, and you usually are, they will change the prices slightly from month to month depending on what the promotions are. So you need to be aware when you go in and look in your subscribe and save what, to see what those prices are. Oftentimes the change in price is minimal, but it is there and it can vary. So you need to make sure you're not thinking it's one price and getting hammered with another price. 
Also, you need to know what's on your subscribe and save. Every month before they send it out, they will notify you. So you can go in there and adjust and skip stuff or, or just simply remove stuff as needed. That way you're not getting too much of a thing that you just don't need. Now, the other way to kind of work this system is when you only have three or even four items on your subscribe and save and you know one more item and boom, you're hitting 15% off. You can actually just Google, I'll put a link in the description of all the subscribe and save items and that you can find a subscribe and save item that's pretty cheap, really, really inexpensive. Add it to your list, boom, you've kicked yourself over into that 15% off threshold where all the good savings are. Let's start this unboxing and show you what type of potential Amazon subscribe and save has. Keep in mind, this is just my subscribe and save. My wife handles the subscribe and save for the household, which does involve diapers, food, snacks, all the type of stuff that we usually go through with the kids and in the daily, monthly household chores and items. Stuff that you're probably picking up on a regular basis. It's just mail tear and we get to save that 15% off. Energy drinks. Now, I know so many of you love your energy drinks. I actually picked up this Salimo energy drinks. I got 25% extra off for adding it to my subscribe and save. And I got it delivered. And then I got 15% off on top of that. So I figured let's give it a go. I don't think energy drinks are good for you. But as a parent, I got to keep the ball rolling somehow. And that's how I usually do it. This isn't even part of my subscribe and save. I thought it was. This is another order I had put in. Um, so this is not part of the subscribe and save. You wouldn't want to order multiple massagers because you don't need more than one. Let's pop open the next one. More energy drinks. How many energy drinks is enough? Never enough. Now, most times people will go into the store and they'll spend two to three dollars on these energy drinks. I know if you go into Target, you can get these for like $2 a piece. But because I got these by the case and I got them on Amazon subscribe and say 15% off, I got these for $1.25 a piece. So if you regularly drink energy drinks, I admit you're able to save 75 cents on every can. And over the course of a few cases, that adds up quickly. And over the course of a year, that adds up substantially. Here's a product that you wouldn't think would be on the subscribe and save, but it is. This is stabilizer for your gasoline. Now, most people probably on a yearly basis would only use one of these total for all their home gasoline needs for their, for their stuff that just kind of sits around. I'm probably going to go through one of these in a year, but I added it to the subscribe and save anyway because I wasn't in a rush. So why not save an extra 15% off and save myself a trip to the automotive store only to pay more than I can get it delivered to me. Now, next month and after this, I will be canceling this off my subscribe and save, but who cares? I was able to save money and then we can just move on to the next item. Propel. This is something that my kids and I drink a lot of, and it just helps to kind of get those nutrients in and helps the kids actually drink more water. And there's nothing in here except basically salt, but we're able to get them at a steal of a deal on Amazon subscribe and save. And we go through them regularly. So why not save that money? Also, we got mask filters because of the vid. We've got ACT. Now, this is something that we use with the kids for anti-cavity prevention or cavity prevention. But it's, hey, it was cheaper on Amazon with their subscribe and save than picking it up at Walmart. And here's another example of something that you wouldn't expect to be on a subscribe and save, but it is. This is Lucas, um, Lucas Fuel Injector Cleaner, okay? I'm probably going to go through one of these uh, over the course of a year or more. But hey, I added it to the list. Now, some of you might want to get one of these every month if you've got like an automotive shop or something. 
but you're probably not. But the truth is, if you can save money on it, why not add it to your subscribe and save, especially if you don't need it right away. That's the only caveat with the subscribe and save is that they send that out once a month. So you've got to kind of put everything in your cart and order it beforehand so that you know what you're going to be getting in. But if you think about it, most of us, we use stuff regularly that we don't need right away, right? You oftentimes like, you don't wait till you're out of toilet paper to buy more, do you? Or you don't wait till you're out of diapers to buy more. Same exact thing. Speaking of fuel product, I got Seafone. Now this is stuff that I will use in the vehicles every three to six months. So why not put it on the subscribe and save so I get it in well before I need it and save that money. And last but not least, our fuel injector cleaners. This was one I wasn't gonna pick up, but they had one of those extra coupons for adding it to my subscribe and save. So I got these for dirt cheap. And that's what it's all about. It's about saving money on stuff that you need and saving money and keeping it in your wallet because you know you can make a big hefty income, but if you're spending through the nose, you're gonna end up in the red at the end of the year. That's not what we want. So that is my random, and I do mean random, subscribe and save order, just to give you an idea of some of the crazy stuff you can add to your subscribe and save. My wife's order, because it's for the household, is a lot more consistent. I happen to think Amazon subscribe and save is a great way to save a ton of money, especially over the course of an entire year. The only caveat is you need to maximize those coupons when you sign up for the subscribe and save and make sure they're not charging you a boatload for stuff on future orders. So you definitely need to go in there at least once a month just to double check everything to make sure it's kosher. Now, my birthday is right around the corner. The big 4-0. And I'd love you to do give me a huge early birthday gift by hitting that subscribe button. It's free, but it would mean the absolute world to me. If you came this far in the video, check out the Amazon affiliate links and see for yourself all the subscribe and save stuff because it's not about what you make, it's about what you keep. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.